In our previous presentation, we understood the importance of analysis of algorithms. Now, in this lecture, we will understand the importance of growth rate. Let's get started with this lecture and let's see what are the topics. The topic of this lecture is importance of growth rate. In this lecture, we will understand what is growth rate and why it is so important. Let's get started and let's understand this topic. Why growth rate is important to analyze algorithms? In order to understand this, let's take the same example which we took in the last lecture. We took an example of finding a key in a list. And for that, we proposed two algorithms. One was linear search and the other one was binary search. In case of linear search, if we have 100 items, then it needs 100 comparisons to come to the conclusion whether the key we are looking for is available in the list or not. I am talking about the worst case situation. It might be possible that the key we are looking for is not available in the list or it may be available at the end of the list. Then in that case, linear search will need 100 comparisons to come to the conclusion whether the item we are looking for is available in the list or not. If let's say one comparison takes 1 millisecond of time, then 100 comparisons will take 100 milliseconds of time. So linear search takes 100 milliseconds of time to look for a key in 100 items list. What about binary search? In case of binary search, if we have 100 items, then it takes 7 comparisons to come to the conclusion whether the key is found or not. Only 7 comparisons. This is what we saw in the last lecture. The time it takes, therefore, is 7 milliseconds. Compared to 100 milliseconds, this is 7 milliseconds. Much, much faster. Nearly, it is 14 times faster than linear search. But I would like to ask one question. Is it always the case that binary search is 14 times faster than linear search? What if we take 1 billion items? Is it true that binary search is still 14 times faster than linear search? Let's understand this now. Let's take 1 billion items. In case of linear search, we need 1 billion comparisons. And 1 billion comparisons means linear search will take 11 days to come to the conclusion. 11 days. What about binary search? In case of binary search, if we have 1 billion items, then it needs just 30 comparisons to come to the conclusion. Only 30 comparisons. This means it will take 30 milliseconds of time. Is it still 14 times faster than linear search? No. This time, binary search is nearly 31 million times faster than linear search. It is very, very fast. Previously, binary search was 14 times faster than linear search when we have 100 items. But this time when we have 1 billion items, binary search suddenly became so fast. This time, it is 31 million times faster than linear search. So clearly, one example cannot tell us how fast an algorithm is compared to the other algorithm. We need to know the growth rate of an algorithm. So, as the size of the input grows, speed of the binary search grows drastically. This is what we just saw. As we increase the size, the speed of the binary search grows drastically. Therefore, one example is not enough to analyze algorithms. It is important to know how fast an algorithm grows with respect to the input size. We cannot tell how fast an algorithm is compared to the other algorithm by taking just one example. We need to know how fast an algorithm grows with respect to the input size. This means we are interested in the growth rate of an algorithm. By the definition, rate at which running time increases as a function of input is called the growth rate. 
This means growth rate tells how fast an algorithm grows with respect to the input size. Or in other words, how the running time of an algorithm increases as a function of input or how the running time increases as the size of the input increases. This is known as growth rate. But how do we measure the growth rate of an algorithm? In order to measure the growth rate, we can use the big O notation. So, growth rate can be measured using the big O notation. What is big O notation? We will understand this in our next lecture and subsequent lectures. This notation allows us to measure the growth rate of an algorithm. So, with this, we understood the importance of growth rate. We understood that in order to know how fast an algorithm is, we need to know its growth rate. So, with this, we are done with this lecture. Okay, friends, this is it for now. Thank you for watching this presentation. I will see you in the next one.